Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you a few different ways you can manage notifications in Microsoft Teams. All right, so as you chat with your colleagues uh, through Microsoft Teams, I'm sure you're getting lots and lots of notifications, pop-up notifications, uh, you know, banners and uh, uh, emails and stuff like that. Anytime somebody posts something on Teams, and you know, with a number of Teams, a number of channels that you have obviously this can get overwhelming so what i would like to show you today a few different ways uh, you can manage uh, those uh, notifications just to show you what i'm talking about so here is a situation um, i am obviously logged in this is my team's account uh, and my colleague mary uh, this is mary's team's account she just you know decides maybe to reply to my um, you know my message in teams or post a new message doesn't really matter uh, let me just um, you know, type in something here, as Mary just did. Uh, what ha will happen to me, right? Uh, I will obviously be notified uh, every single time, uh, you know, Mary um, posts uh, something new or maybe replies to my message, uh, etc. And as you can see, it can get pretty uh, overwhelming sometimes. Uh, so there are a few different ways. There are actually three main ways to uh, manage notifications. Uh, you can manage them globally for uh, the whole uh, kind of uh, for the whole account, if you will, for, for all Microsoft uh, Teams that you have, you can manage it at the channel level, and you can also manage uh, notifications at the um, at the uh, thread or post level, if you will. Uh, let me show you all three options. So, for the option number one, for the global options, what you need to do is uh, click uh, under. Uh, on your picture uh, in the upper right-hand corner uh, under your profile, go to settings and then notifications. And you will see some options here, all right? Uh, and these are kind of uh, global um, options. Uh, for example, if somebody mentions me uh, in, a, in a channel or personally mentions me, uh, if, um, you know, some personal chat messages that we exchange. So this is some of the uh, settings that you can alter globally. And now, uh, most of those uh, are not really applicable, I guess, to the uh, channels and teams, you know, the, uh, themselves. They, um, you know, they are more applicable to kind of personal, you know, uh, personal messages and stuff and personal man mentions. So, uh, but, but still, nonetheless, you can still, uh, you know, manage uh, the different uh, types of, uh, uh, notifications. For example, uh, if I don't uh, want to be notified about uh, replies, uh, all right, uh, during the conversations uh, where I participate, right, I can maybe tweak those settings, etc. All right, so definitely check out this option, global one. Uh, then you can also manage notifications uh, at a channel uh, level uh, within a team that's done within the uh, the actual team itself. Uh, you obviously have these different channels, and what you can do, you can click the three dots next to each and every channel, and uh, pretty much manage notifications uh, here as well. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, this will be off, uh, you know, by default. But of course, you can uh, enable or disable, or you know, change the type of notification that you want uh, here as well. All right, uh, and. Uh, the last option would be at the conversation level, at a thread level, if you will. Uh, so, for example, uh, here we go. This is the conversation, you know, where Mary just replied. And you know what? Let's say it's a heated discussion and, uh, you know, all these different posts flying around. I, I really don't want to be notified with anything uh, every time somebody, uh, somebody types something in. So uh, you just hover over. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you kind of have to hover over the conversation until you get to see this um, pop-up, three dots, turn off notifications. And essentially what it will do, it will mute this whole uh, thread. But we are not muting everything. We're just muting this particular thread. So again, three dots. And you can you know toggle it on and off. Right now it's off, so I can turn it back on if I want to. But uh, the bottom line, uh, you can control it at the thread level as well. All right? Uh, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. Now, before we end this video, I also wanted to uh, mention briefly that I recently uh, went live with uh, SharePoint Maven Academy. Uh, essentially, it's a place where you can uh, uh, access and uh, uh, enroll in various SharePoint and Office 365 courses. They're all on demand. Uh, I will include the URL uh, uh, for the academy 
uh, in the description of this video. Essentially, it's uh, academy.sharepointmaven.com. And once you navigate to that, uh, uh, to that URL, you will actually get to see uh, this page right here. All right. And this is where you can pretty much enroll in various courses uh, that I have. Um, I split them by categories. So if you want to learn all the basic stuff and user stuff, you can enroll in any of end user courses. I also have some more advanced site owner courses, and I do plan to add additional courses later on as well. So just wanted to mention that in case uh, if you want to uh, learn SharePoint and Office 365 uh, on your own pace, at your own pace. And uh, that's pretty much all. So again, thank you very much. Hopefully you learned something new today in this video. And as always, we'll be happy to see you uh, on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.